हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला व्हाट इज क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला अ क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला इज अ फॉर्मूला यूज्ड फॉर सॉल्विंग अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन वी नो देर आर थ्री मेथड्स फॉर सॉल्विंग अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन वन इज स्प्लिटिंग द मिडल टर्म सेकेंड इज कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वेयर मेथड एंड द थर्ड वन इज क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला I had made videos on splitting the middle term and completing the square method also. This is the third me method which I am going to explain you right now. Before starting, first we should know the standard form of a quadratic equation. Here I am going to write the standard form. Look here, the equation is given here. First of all, we should know what is the standard form of any quadratic equation. ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Now, with the help of these numbers, there is one formula. Look here. This is the formula. X is equal to plus minus b into bracket plus or minus b root under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. We have to use this and solve. this quadratic formula this formula is very important as in other two form methods we cannot find that we will get zeros or uh, not directly here first we will come to know that directly we can find the zeros or not if in the beginning only we come to know that we cannot find the zeros no need of solving this method so in the beginning only we will come to know that can we find the zeros of this equation or not in this method so first of all again i am repeating the formula the formula for finding quadratic equation solutions are x is equal to minus b plus or minus means two time one time it we will take plus one time we will take minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a so before starting first we should know that what is a what is b and what is c the coefficient is with x square the number is called a so here we are having a equals to 2 then number with x called b b is equal to minus 5 and what is c c means the last number that is 3 now first we have to check whether we can find the zeros or not means we are we will get zeros in this equation or not how we can find look here i did and first we have to find discriminant d it is all it is b square minus 4ac is called discriminant if we will find there are three condition for b square minus 4ac if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 then we can find roots we will get two different roots If b square minus 4ac is equal to zero, we will get two roots, and both will be equal. Means two equal real roots. And if b square minus 4ac is less than zero, means it will be a negative number. Then we cannot find the roots of this equation. Come on, first we will see here. I tell two minus five and three. So now putting in this first, we will find discriminant. Come on. So minus five whole square minus four into two into three. Square of minus five, twenty-five minus four to the eight, three to the twenty-four. So d is equal to one. So we got d is equal to one. Now we come to know that d is a positive number. So what we had written b square minus four ac is greater than zero. So we will get two different roots. Come on. Now we will find the roots. So formula is x is equal to minus b plus under root b square minus four ac by two a for first root and second root. X is equal to minus b minus the root b square minus 4ac by 2a. Now putting the values. First we I will solve this. Then we will start that. 
now minus and b what is b here it's minus 5 so 2 times generally students are making here they forgot to take 2 minus they generally take it minus 5 and keep the values and that's why they are getting not getting marks for this type of things now b square minus 4 here here earlier only we had find out b square minus 4s is equal to 1 so directly we will keep it here 1 then 2 into a what is a it's 2 so 2 minus minus plus 5 under root 1 will be 1 and 2 to the 4 so it is 6 by 4 will get 3 by 2 so this is our first root now we will move here look here we had find minus y in the same things so only the difference will be plus 1 here and minus 1 on the next side so minus minus 5 minus under root 1 by 2 into 2 we will get 5 minus 1 by 4 it will be 4 upon 4 1 so this is our next root so this way we can find out roots of any equation by quadratic formula if you like my video please please subscribe to it and like it thank you